Testing one, two, and two, three. Hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials, your go-to place for all content relating to the practical uses of virtual reality. And today we're going to be talking about the Varjo Aero, which is a brand new VR headset just released, uh, which is supposed to be the world's best VR headset for the consumer, although because of its price, it's more geared towards the prosumer but um, we're gonna go through all the specs and everything first just want to welcome you if you're new to the channel and a huge welcome back to our regular viewers of course and awesome subscribers love you guys thanks again for subscribing liking and sharing this video with all the others in all your social media so without further ado let's check out the video the promo video first and then we'll go through all the various different specs and whether it's something you should really consider in your library of VR headsets all right so uh, let me just transition very quickly here we go and then we're going to play this. It looks really cool. I like the video. I like the lighting in the video. Here it is. Now these guys do a lot of work with uh, NASA, by the way. They train the astronauts and they work with flight companies as well. I mean, they're big boys, these people. So they do a lot of mixed reality, by the way, guys. Alright, so let's talk about it. Let's dive more into the actual specs of this thing. Let's go to my good friend's vlog from uh, Scared Ghost. Guys, I do the Ghost Owl. I definitely uh, recommend that you go and check out um, his video, his blog, because he talks extra clearly about everything. He knows exactly what he's talking about. So let's just go through. Uh, and he's worked with Jean-Michel Jean and a whole bunch of other people. And he will be on the channel. I've interviewed him. So do subscribe to catch that video soon. All right. So let's um, let's just dive into this very quickly. So Vajo announces Aero, the highest end prosumer headset. Um, so if you're into high quality PC VR and you have a budget to invest for it, then this is for you. So first of all, it's not a standalone VR headset. It is a PC VR headset. So you will need a very strong PC, uh, you know, for this thing. And also, uh, so here's the resolution, the specifications. Resolution display is a mini LCD, uh, LED LCD, sorry. Um, 28800 by 2700 pixels per eye, which, well, I mean, it's, it is quite good, uh, but if we compare it to the HP Reverb G2 uh, resolution, uh, you know, it's 20, it's 4K 21600 by 21600. Um, so, you know, it's better than the HP Reverb G2. Uh, it's also a refresh rate of the 90 Hertz, which is the same as the HP Reverb G2 uh, currently, if I'm not wrong. HP Reverb G2 refresh rate. Just want to make a double show. Yep, 90 Hertz refresh rate. Um, the optics is a custom-made variable resolution aspheric lenses with 35 PPD peak Fidelity. I'm not quite sure what this means, to be honest with you, um, but maybe the blog uh, details it a little bit more. The field of view is 115 degrees diagonal by 144, 134 degrees at 12 mm eye relief. So that's not too bad. Um, you know, more than 100 degrees, which is pretty much the standard in a lot of VR headsets at the moment. Um, it's got automatic IPD adjustment with monitor supported IPD range between 57 and 73. So this should cover most people. Um, so, you know, if your eyesight is not the same as someone else and your eyes, the way they're uh, basically, the, the way your eyes are, 
you know, if they're not the same as other people, then at least you're going to be able to see properly. So that's pretty good. The, the audio has a 35 minimum, uh, minim, sorry, millimeter, 3.5 mm audio jack. So this is really good. I think it's really helpful to be able to plug in a headset, um, headphones from the headset. Uh, you know, in case you're not very near to your actual PC, uh, then at least, you know, you don't have to have a long cord going all the way to a PC. You could just do it from your headset. Uh, it's 487 grams, so that's really new, really not too bad. However, it says it's plus 100, plus 230 grams um, headband. So that means that the total is more than 600. It's almost 700, uh, you know, gram. Now that's pretty heavy, I would say. Um, although it's got a counterweight, but I mean, that could be an issue. I mean, if you're going to be wearing, um, you know, your headset for, uh, you know, a long, a long period of time. When I wear the HP Reverb G2 for a long period of time, or the Pico Neo for a long period of time, I start getting neck issues. I, you know, I can't really stay in VR that long, to be honest. So if this thing is going to be 700 grams, it doesn't matter if there's a counterweight. It's like it's almost a kilo on your head. It might not be very healthy for your collar, your bones, and your shoulders, and uh, so just just be aware of this. I think um, you know something to to be aware of. I think that's pretty heavy, uh, as far as I'm concerned, for long term use. Maybe an hour a day is okay, but anything more than that, just be careful. Uh, dimensions is 200 mm by 170 mm. Okay, fine. Connectivity it has USB C. Okay, not bad. Um, so that means what? Uh, okay, so it just connects USB-C, all right? Uh, so there's no Bluetooth, uh, or maybe it has Bluetooth, we haven't got, haven't got there yet. It's got Steam VR tracking, so that's good. Uh, Steam VR is basically, if you're not aware, the world's uh, the library, the the world's platform that has the most library of games for PC VR. So that's good. Eye tracking, 200 hertz. Okay. Uh, comfort wearability, three point precision, precision, precision. Sorry, fit headband. Sorry, it's very late here in Singapore. It's twelve o'clock at night. Uh, PC requirements. So you need a four core, four core CPU, at least an Intel i5, uh, forty five ninety Intel Xeon E5, sixteen hundred twenty, or an AMD Ryzen five. That's pretty standard to be honest. Um, but you do need, however. An RTX 2080. Okay. The, oh, okay. The minimum is GeForce 2060. Wow. Okay. So you do need an RTX 2060 at least. Um, so just be aware of that before you go ahead and buy it. Uh, if you don't have an RTX 2060, which is the minimum here, um, yeah, just be aware of, of the specs uh, in terms of your GPU. You may need to upgrade. Um, okay, you need an 8 gigabyte memory. Okay, it has 8 gigabyte memory, sorry. Uh, storage, 2 gigabytes. Okay, video output, 1 display port, 1.4. Okay. okay, so if you go to the blog, uh, you'll be able to do a comparison. He, he put, he very nicely here put a board with all the various different comparisons. Uh, you know, between the Vajor XR3, R3 and the Aero. Now, the XR3 currently is the highest end, uh, you know, th this is more for basically, you know, companies who are developing extremely high-end VR solutions. I'm talking like astronaut stuff. Or if you're an F1 team, or if you're... <laughs> Um, you know, some kind of DHL or if you these big multinational conglomerates and you need super high fidelity and you're developing mixed reality and all this stuff, then you need the XR3. But if you're a prosumer, you don't need all these kind of things. Uh, just be aware of that. Uh, but you can go and check out, you know, the table. Excuse me. You can go and check out the table uh, just to see the differences. So Vajo is the first prosumer device announced by Finnish company Vajo. Um, okay, good. So the price. Now the XR3 costs six thousand five hundred five thousand US dollars plus a one-year uh, subscription to the services of fourteen hundred ninety-five per year. Um, okay, but the price for this specific headset, uh, if I'm not wrong, is two thousand euros. No, two thousand 
1990 USD and euros plus VAT. So you need to add whatever VAT on top of that. So it's going to be more than 2000 US dollars, guys, or more than 2000 euros. So do be aware if you want the best of the best in the market, that's how much you're going to have to pay. Um, Oh, it doesn't come with controllers, so you need the price of the controllers in as well. So we're looking at 3,000 euros. Oh, my God. Wow, that's a lot of money, man. <whistles> Honestly, um, I think at the moment, if I'm going to give you my, my honest opinion about this, um, just on the price alone, let me just transition over very quickly. Now, I like Vanjo a lot, and I support, I, I highly support what they do. Honestly, amazing stuff that they do but I think honestly speaking for the price I haven't tried the Vajo so it's a, with a pinch of salt what I'm going to tell you but I think the HP Reverb D2 is more than good enough if you're if it's your first time in 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 VR okay um, and you want hyper good quality VR with good tracking uh, decent tracking honestly the HP have done an amazing job on the tracking it's completely changed since the very very beginning uh, then I think the HP Reverb D2 is more than good enough you don't need to spend 3000 euros honestly you do not believe me HP Reverb D2 is very much up there in terms of VR the other thing is PC VR and the other thing is uh, let's not forget that uh, Valve Index are going to release a new headset next year most undoubtedly maybe mid-year or third quarter of next year and also we're all anticipating uh, Apple to release a VR headset next year. Now, if Apple releases a VR headset that's going to cost a thousand US dollars, what does this mean for Varjo? It, I think unless Apple releases a VR headset that's going to be super expensive, we're talking about five thousand US dollars expensive, okay? Um, then I don't think there's a need to buy the Varjo headset right now, unless you have tons of cash and you're someone who's quite wealthy or you earn a lot of money in your job. And you know you don't mind spending two thousand euros or three thousand euros because to you, you'll make it back in in one month's salary. Then you know what can I tell you? Go ahead. But if you're a, just a normal enthusiast, uh, someone who just wants to be in VR and have very decent quality and not have to splash so much money, it's up to you what you do. But I'm just telling you. Um, there's no need to spend 3,000 US dollars to get the best of the best in VR since HP already have what I would consider pretty much the best in VR at the moment. And um, and also, uh, as I just mentioned, there's going to be all these other headsets coming out next year. So it's up to you what you do, guys. I'm just telling you, I think it's a bit expensive for what it is. Um, but I do, I do, agree. I understand why the price is so high and you know what kind of company they are. And it, it's more of a niche kind of thing. So I'm not sure what else to talk about in terms of um, this headset but you know if you want to look at uh, hands-on experience do go and check out um, Everyone's Norm from test you know you can go and check out uh, Adam Savage's uh, YouTube channel they have okay I'm not quite sure where it is but uh, uh, you can go and check out MLTV's video uh, upload VR upload video I have done let me just kill the sound so we don't get any um, you know, uh, copyright infringement. But yeah, I mean, Upload VR have done Let's a review, a, a hands-on. How fast can you guess? A hands-on review of it as well. So do go and check out uh, the channel. You know, Upload VR, very reputable inside of the um, uh, space of VR. So definitely recommend you go and check out, uh, you know, how they look at it. I will try to get a headset, but honestly, I'm not sure if I can because our channel is not super high. Guys, please subscribe, please like, please reshare the channel, the video, you know, so that we can, you know, grow and then I can get all these VR headsets for you uh, without any issues, you know. Otherwise, I need 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> I can see uh, you can also go and check out uh, Cass and Cherry, uh, you know, who have tens of thousands of subscribers, God Almighty, hundreds of thousands. I don't know, I get lost. Uh, they got 100. 1019 people so do go and check out uh her video the video as well although i'd really i'm a bit i'm a bit annoyed that they promote quests a lot to be honest with you and facebook um but you know i do support their channel and um well 
I must have forgotten to subscribe. There you go. Yeah, do support their channel. Uh, and then also, uh, Voodoo VR has a lot of subscribers. And he's also got a headset. So do go and check out uh, his hands-on. And of course, um, let's not forget MRTV. Staring, you uh, MRTV also has done a hands-on review. So do go and check out his, um, you know, his channel of all the different things. Uh, but guys, before we leave the um, before we leave the, the the video, I'm going to just thank you guys. I want to thank you, you know, for your comments and stuff. So let's go and check out some of the comments that you left on the previous video because we're gonna, I'm going to do a follow-up video on this probably in the next few days over the weekend. Um, so let's just uh, let me just transition over, and then we'll go to our YouTube channel very quickly. Okay, let's go here. Video. So HTC, HTC Vive, we spoke about the HTC Vive Flow, uh, whether it's worth getting the headset and stuff. So do go and check out this video because it's got a lot of different uh, information about it. Um, and I will do a follow-up video to it as well because I've been talking to the general manager of HTC. Uh, okay, so Yukai Troy, thank you so much for your comment. Thanks for the video. Regarding resolution, it's important to consider pixel density instead of just res resolution. Yeah, I completely agree with you. That is very, very true what you say. Um, so thank you very much for your comment about that. Uh, Midnight Rocker 43, 100 degrees FOV sounds familiar to the Oculus Go and the Gear VR. Yes, you're very right, but it should be fine. It should be okay. Uh, but thank you very much for your... Uh, I mean, for, for the fact that what it is, it should be absolutely fine. It's not like it's a, you know, a super high-end, uh, uh, you know, VR headset. So 100 FOV to go traveling on the plane or while you're waiting for a meeting or something, absolutely fine. Um, the purpose of time, I think the face cushion is probably soft enough to get your fingers in there to adjust it. Uh, okay, well, I hope so. Otherwise, you have to take it off every single time. 500 pounds is very unfortunate, though. Yeah, I completely agree. But if there wasn't... If there wasn't an Oculus Quest, I think 500 pounds is absolutely fine. Um, H. Tail and Diwa, uh, first of all, I don't care about fashion. Fair enough. It looks comfortable and light. I can see myself lying down and watching all types of video at home. Well, thank you very much for your for your comment. Really appreciate it. And I completely agree with you, which is really what they're trying to do. Uh, Tony Polazzo, I think they wanted hand as controllers, but didn't get it working. Oh, well, that's very interesting. Because, yeah, it's supposed to be hands-free uh, uh, you know, later. VR Snacks, that's me, by the way. I left myself a comment. Uh, Viveport is confirmed by GM of HTC Vive. So very happy the Viveport is confirmed. So you'll be able to use a whole bunch of different apps with it. Uh, Carl Vel Velade, thank you for your comment. Maybe for $50, not $500 Google Cardboard. Carl, thank you so much for your comment. Uh, I do agree it should be cheaper, but if there wasn't an Oculus Quest 2, then I think £500 would have been okay, considering that all the other VR headsets, um, you know, on the market are more than that. Uh, let's go to the YouTube um, studio and just welcome some new people to the channel, because I didn't do that in the previous video. So let's just go there. Guys, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so smash that like button, smash the reshare button, uh, and then let's go to see all. Date subscribe. I'd like to welcome Samantha Stepro, Giz Gaming, Liv Brown, Manta218, Fun God, Alessio Minigazzi, M. Leo, Astrid Herrera, Chris Nandy, Hess, Yan Laz. <laughs> Did you do this on purple? Purpose, Yen Laz, because I'm Lazius, as you know. I'd also like to welcome Mastir, Ahmed Hesa, Ifrin Magopa, Zifir Isgard, uh, Isangard, sorry, Yemen Adas, Angel2890, Suzette Robinson, Music and Sound Effect Library, Zach Wendit, and Mikau Mikus. Guys, thank you so much for joining the channel. You guys are super, super, super awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, I'll see you in a very new video very soon. What do you guys think about the new Virtual Aero? What do you think of the price? What do you think of the spec? Go and check out the link of my friend's blog down in the description. Guys, leave a comment below and reshare the video. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye for now. Nice to see you again.